special guest star today. And today we're going to be rating Horace and Bunwinkle by PJ Gardner. And, and, and this is how I rate it. It's a dead face if you can tell, and that means I'm, I love it so so much, and it was and it was amazing, and I'm dead. Emery, what's your rating of Horace and Bunwinkle? It was, it was like really a really really good book. I rated it a smiley face. I like it a lot. So liked it, loved it, dead. Okay, can you tell us what what is Horace and Bunwinkle about? Who, Horace, who kind of people would like this book? Horace and Bunwinkle is about. A horse, uh, um, a dog, uh, a dog, and and he gets a new sister that's an adopted relationship that's a pig, and so they like to watch um, TV shows on the TV that's about um, two two pets that look exactly like them that solve mysteries. So they they want to be detectives too, just like the people from the show, and so there's a there's a mystery that they are trying to solve about missing pets. So pet, they, they've just moved to a new farm and pets around the farm, animals around the farm, start going missing. And so Horace and Bunwinkle are detectives. It's a, this is a mystery book. Horace and Bunwinkle are detectives. So Emery, can you tell me um, something you liked about this book? I really liked that it was just humorous. They thought couch potatoes were real. <laughs> Every time their human called them couch potatoes, they started looking for food. And they're like, what? There's couch potatoes? That sounds so delicious. <laughs> All right. So you thought it was a funny book? I thought it was funny book. and so funny. Funny and so funny. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So in the genre of books about animals who are, this is the... Five dollar word for, for today: anthropomorphize, um, which means they act like people, but they're animals, right? Um, it's like 101 Dalmatians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay, so you've got 101 Dalmatians, which is a literary classic, right? Um, we've got Horace and Bunwinkle. We've got um, what else? Mouse and the Motorcycle, another classic. Have we ever met an, an, an anthropomorphized animal book that we haven't loved? Stop. <gasps> What's that one about the hamster and the dog? W Wedgie and Gizmo. Wedgie and Gizmo, you guys also loved, which a new one just came out. Check out Wedgie and Gizmo. But where would we rank this amongst all of those? How much did you love this, this book? Is it like right up there with, it's right right next, with the classics? It's up there with um, 101 Dalmatians. Wow, okay. It's really good. I think it's also a bit lower than Anna Kudrin. All right, so if you are looking for a book for an eight-year-old or a 10-year-old, take it from the book monsters. They're going to like Horace and Bunwinkle by P.J. Gardner.